Question 5 says a transformer has the number of primary tons to be 500 tons and number of secondary tons to be 50 tons. If the primary voltage is 200 volts, find the secondary voltage. They say we should assume ideal transformer. Assume ideal transformer. Option A, we have 10 volts. Option B, we have 20 volts. C, we have 50 volts. And D, we have 100 volts. From the question, we are given certain parameters. The first parameter we are given is the number of primary tons, which is NP is equal to 500 tons. We are also given the number of secondary tons, NS, to be what? 50 tons. So we have 50 tons. If the primary volts, we are given primary volts, the primary voltage should be 200 volts. They say find the secondary volts. So Vs is equal to unknown. Recall from the equation of a transformer that Vs all over Vp is equal to Ns all over Np. If we substitute these values into this equation, or better say, let's make Vs the subject of formula first. If we make Vs the subject of formula, we have that Vs is equal to Ns Vp all over Np. Here we have made Vs the subject of formula. If we substitute these values into this equation, we have that Vs, which is the secondary voltage, is equal to Ns. Ns is 50 times Vp. Vp here is what? 200 divided by Np is 500. Vs is equal to this can take away this. They will cancel out. This can also take away this. Sorry. This zero. It cancels out. Here we have 50 times 2. 50 times 2 gives us what? 100 divided by 5. Vs is equal to 100 divided by 5 will give us 20. The unit is what? Votes. So the correct option here is option B, 20 votes. Question C says a car travels at a velocity of 20 meters per second around a curve of radius 50 meters. Compute the centripetal acceleration. A car travels at a velocity of 20 meters per second around the curve of radius 50 meters compute the centripetal acceleration. Note that when a body moves in a circular path, the direction of the centripetal acceleration is towards the center. Yet, from the question, we are given the volts. The volt is what? 20 meters per second. So we have velocity to be 20 meters per second. We are also given something, the radius. The radius here is what? 50 meters per second. We're also giving the radius R to be what? 50 meters. It says compute the centripetal acceleration. A subscript C is unknown. This is the centripetal acceleration. Now recall that the centripetal centripetal acceleration AC is given by the formula V square over R. Where V here is the velocity and R is the radius. If we substitute the values, we have AC is equal to our V from the question is 20 R squared divided by our R. Our R is what? 50 meters. 20 squared will give us 400. So we have AC is equal to 400 divided by what? 50. 400 divided by 50 will give us 8, right? Therefore, the centripetal acceleration is equal to 8 meters per second squared. If we come to our options here, the direct option or the correct answer here is option C, 8 meters per second. 
Question 7 says, a sound wave of frequency 500 Hz travels at a velocity of 340 meters per second. Find its wavelength. A sound wave travels at a velocity of 340 meters per second. Find its wavelength. Option A, we have 0.68 meters. Option B, we have 1.36 meters. Option C, we have 3.40 meters. And option D, we have 6.80 meters. So solution, let's solve this question together. The first step is to write out the given parameters. What were we given the question? From the question, we were given the frequency. Frequency to be what? 500 hertz. It travels at the velocity of what, 340 meters per second. So you have velocity to be 340 meters per second. Dates and depths. You see, what is this wavelength? Wavelength, which is lambda, is unknown. But recall that wavelength, that wavelength, Lambda is equal to velocity over frequency. Lambda here is equal to our frequency from the question is 500, while our velocity is 340 meters. So we have 340 divided by 500. This will take away this. We're left with 34 divided by 50. 34 divided by 50 will give us 0.68. The unit for wavelength is what? Meters. Therefore, the correct option here is option A, 0.68 meters. Question 8 says, an object of height 5 meters is placed at a distance of 15 meters in front of a concave mirror of focal length 10 centimeters. Find the magnification. An object of height 5 cm is placed at an object distance of 15 cm in front of a concave mirror of focal length 10 cm. Find the magnification. Option A, we have minus 2. Option B, we have minus 1. C, we have 1.5. And D, we have 2. So from the question, we are given certain parameters. The first is the object height. So we are given object height. To be what? 5 cm. We also give you something here. The object distance. Object distance denoted with the u to be 15 cm. It is in front of a concave mirror of focal length. We have focal length. F to be 10 cm. They say find the magnification. So magnification M is unknown. Recall from mirror formula that 1 all over F is equal to 1 all over U plus 1 all over V. Where F here is the focal length u is the object distance and v is the image distance if we substitute these values into this equation we have that one all over f is what 10 is equal to one over our u is what 15 plus one all over v we don't know the value of v the image distance was not given in the question if we make V here, the image is the subject of formula. We have 1 over V is equal to 1 over 10 minus 1 over 15. We have 1 over V is equal to 1. For us to be able to subtract this, this is a fraction. We need to take the LCM. The LCM of 10 and 15 is what? 30. 30 divided by 10, we have 3. 
3 times 1, we have 3. Minus 30 divided by 15, we have what? 2. 2 times 1, we have 2. 1 minus 2 will give us what? 1 over 30. And this is 1 over V. Don't forget, we're looking for V and not 1 over V. So we take the inverse. This comes up, this comes up. So V, therefore, V, which is the image distance, is equal to what? 30. The unit is centimeter. We have gotten the image distance, but they say we should find the magnification. Magnification is given by the formula. M is given by the formula minus, minus V over U. M is equal to minus, our V is what? 30 divided by our U. Our U is 15. M is equal to 15 divided by 15, we have 1. 15 here, we have 2. Is equal to minus 2. Therefore, the magnification M is equal to what? Minus 2. The correct option here is option A, minus 2. Question 10 says, a radionuclide has a half-life of 30 days. Initial activity of 800 counts per minute. What is the activity after 90 days? Option A, we have 100 counts per minute. Option B, we have 200 counts per minute. Option C, we have 400 counts per minute. And option D, we have 800 counts per minute. So let's solve this question together. Solution. From the question, we are given certain parameters. We are given the half-life to be what? 30 days. So half-life, initial half-life to be 30 days. We are also given the initial activity to be what? 800 counts per minute. So initial activity A0 is equal to 800 counts per minute. You see, what is the activity after this number of days? So A, the actual activity is unknown. And they give us T to be, which is the time to be 90 days. Recall that number of half-life, recall that the number of half-life n is equal to n is equal to t all over t half. This. The number of half-life is equal to this. Where t here is the time. We have n is equal to 90 days divided by t subscript half, which is the half-life is what? 30 days. 90 divided by 30 gives us what? 3. So we have n here to be what? 3. Now we have got the value of n. Recall that the actual activity a is equal to a0 times 1 all over 2 raised to the power n. This is the formula. Where a here is equal to a0. a0 from the question was given as 800 counts per minute. So we have 800 into 1 over 2 raised to the power our n here is what? 3. So we have a is equal to 800 times. 1 cube is same thing as 1. 2 cube, which is 2 raised to the power 3, is same thing as 8. We have A is equal to 800. 800 times 1 is 800 divided by what? 8. 800 divided by 8 will give us 100. Don't forget the unit for activity A is what? 100 counts per minute. This is our final answer. Therefore, the correct option here is option A, 100 counts per minute.